Hello all, this video is about multiplication on a Soroban. By now you've done addition and subtraction and you want to try something new. So let's do multiplication. Before we do though, make sure you can add two digit numbers and you know your times tables. For a while, keep your times tables with you to learn them, but try to do these without having to rely on it. Let's do an example. What is 3 times 2? When you multiply, always start on these two beads. This is the ones bead, the tenths bead, and the hundredths bead. Start on the tenths and the hundredths. This number has one digit, one digit here for two total. So we go two digits to the left. One, two and multiply. 3 times 2, 6. And our product, 6. What is 2 times 9? Start on the tenths and hundredths. One digit here, one digit here, two digits total. 1, 2. 2 times 9 is 18. And our product, is 18. What's 9 times 7? Start on the tenths and hundredths. Two digits total. 1, 2. 9 times 7, 63. And our product, 63. Four times 8. Start on the tenths and hundredths, one, two digits total, four times eight is thirty-two, and our product, thirty-two. What is fifty times six? Start on the tenths and hundredths, we got two digits here, and one digit here for three total, so we go one, two, three. 5 times 6 is 30, and our product, 300. What is 30 times 4? Start on the tenths and hundredths. 3 total, 1, 2, 3. 3 times 4, 12. And our product, 120. What is 900 times 7? Start on the tenths and hundredths. I've got three digits and one digit for four total. One, two, three, four. Nine times seven, 63. And our product, 6,300. What is 3,000 times 8. Start on the tenths and hundredths. Four digits and one more make five. One, two, three, four, five. Three times eight, 24. Our product, 24,000. Decimals. How do we do decimals? Exactly the same. Start on the tenths and hundredths. This number has zero digits, zero digits, so we don't move at all. Six times nine, 54. And our product, 0 0.54. What is 0 0.8? times 0.7. Start on the tenths and hundredths. Zero and zero make zero, so we stay right here. Eight times seven, 56. And our product, 0 0.56. How about three times 0.6? 
start on the tenths and hundredths, one digit here and zero digits here for one total, one digit to the left, three times six, 18, and our product, 1.8. One more like that. What is five times 0.7? Start on the tenths and hundredths. One and zero make one. We go one digit to the left. Five times seven, 35. And our product, 3.5. 3.5. What is 3 times 0 0.04. Start on the tenths and hundredths. This number has one digit. This number has minus one digit. One and minus one make zero, so we stay right here. Three times four, 12. And our answer, 0 0.12. What is 0 0.02 times 0 0.6? Start on the tenths and hundredths. Minus one digit, zero digits. So we go one digit to the right. Two times six is 12. And our answer, 0 0.012. How about 0 0.03 times 0 0.08? I showed you the answer. Let's see if you can get that. Start on the tenths and hundredths. This number has minus one digit and minus one digit for minus two. That means we go one, two digits to the right. Eight times three is 24. And our product, 0 0.0024. Try some more problems like this, just single digits. See if you can place them correctly and learn your times tables. Thanks, everybody.